Hello, hello, hello. Now, I just saw a video, and they're talking about Obama as part of reparations. In other words, if Obama is voted in president, then they're going to come up with some $777 trillion reparations plan. Now, first of all, I want to flat out say this, and I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, AIX, that's fucked up, but come on, man. There are so many people of color here in America now, their excuse for not giving reparations is because they won't be able to prove who was who. Now, you know, just as I do, a birth certificate goes back, parents, blah, 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 blah. You know, you look up the birth certificate trail. How many young people out there between the age of 20 and 40 have their parents' birth certificates? to prove that they're, you know, African American or Americans of African descent to get some reparation money. Now, let me ask you this other question. Wouldn't it better <coughs> Wouldn't it be better for the white people that a white president give reparations? Wouldn't that be the best way to say, you know, we ain't got nothing to do with it by having some white man give up the money so by saying Barack Obama is just gonna give black people reparations it's just another tactic for people not to vote for Barack because they think that redistribution of the wealth means take everything from the white man and just give it to a black man that is what's the word I want to use here bullshit so um, when you look at the big picture if any American is going to get some reparations, it's going to be those of us who was born by <laughs> mama, who raised by mama something. Mama ain't never had a name. She was just called mama. You knew her name, but you never call her by her name. You see what I'm saying? There's only a handful of us Americans that are true descendants from slaves. Yes, I said it. Ain't too many of us left that are true descendants from the slaves. That's why they want to bring this shit up now when there's going to be a half black president in the United States. Barack Obama is not Alan Keyes. He's not J.T. Watts. Hell, Barack Obama is not me. Barack Obama is not um, Donnie Phillips. You know, I mean, Barack Obama is half white and half black. And this is a known fact. His father is from Africa or wherever. And his mother is from England. You do the fucking math, baby. You do the pictures. You fix you figure that shit out. Barack Obama is not, you know, some African dude hooked up with some white chick. He ain't some black brother whose parents came from the dirt and whatever. His father came from Africa after the fact. He gonna give us reparations? Michelle Obama, on the other hand, looks like one of us. And a lot of people gonna look at this and say, you know, you just hate no. I'm not hating on Barack for nothing. I'm not hating on nobody. But just don't say this man is gonna pop up and give everybody black some money, so don't vote for him because him and Pelosi got a seven hundred seventy-seven trillion dollar plan to redistribute the wealth if anybody should have redo if anyone should have re distributed the wealth if any president should have redistributed the wealth the wealth should have been redistributed when the sla slaves were set free that's the bottom line the wealth should have been redistributed when the slaves were set free in order to change the way people feel about how things are now. Yes, there would have been some animosity between those who did not want the slaves free because it fucked up their industry. Yes, there would have been some animosity between these slaves who now have a way to take care of themselves and the land in which they have to fucking, uh, you know, profit off of before they can actually own it. 
Yes, things would have been different. But to redistribute the wealth now after 200 years of tyranny is completely bullshit and nonsensical. It will not happen. The powers that be will not let anyone step forth on their reign of power by giving them some wealth that will put them in a position to demand respect. Did I say that clear enough without stuttering and stopping like I have been doing this whole video? If Barack Obama and the Democrats plan to give away a lot of money to quote unquote black people, I must tell you this. It will be so hard for these quote unquote black people to prove that they are the ones who deserve the money because of the way the system is flawed. Therefore, it would look like a bunch of people just getting money for nothing. Therefore, it would cause riots in the streets between the white people who now do not have any money. Do you understand what I'm trying to show you, baby? It's too early for that. I'm trying to say something very simple. Barack Obama is not Running, pres running for president to give black people referendums. Sorry, we're not going to get nothing for our ancestors being held as slaves. We're not going to get the opportunity to get 40 acres and a mule. Remember, when you search, research it, when you search it, when you research and find out the stipulations placed on that 40 acres and a mule, when you got the clan riding and destroying up your crops and shit, then you understand why they stop even fucking asking for 40 acres and a mule understand that you give the average person right now 40 acres and a mule just say a truck and tell them the stipulations that were placed upon getting this land and the opportunity you place those same stipulations on Americans right now Without some outside investor coming in saying, let me put apartments on your property. Without some outside person coming in saying, you know, let me turn this into a mall for you. Without somebody from the outside putting forth money, the person giving the 40 acres in the mule would lose it exactly like they did in the 1800s, baby! Or was it? Yeah, it was the 1800s. Think about it. Think about it. And is there enough 40 acres in the mules to go around? Huh? Now, when you decide to give people reparations, if you ever decide to give people reparations, how's it going to go down? Is it going to go down that the oldest person in the family take control of this? These people don't exist anymore. The average older person in an uh, African-American household is in their late 20s early 30s. That is the oldest person in the household. And you gonna give Puff Daddy 40 acres in the mule? You gonna give Jay-Z his 40 acres in the mule? You gonna give these quote-unquote black people who already have the same opportunities as these black people who don't have? And then what happens when uh, Jay-Z and, and P. Diddy go up and, and buy all these 40 acres and mules and shit from people and have, all, have their own uh, big-ass land masses? You're not going to allow that shit to happen either. So when it comes down to saying Barack is going to just give black people money and shit, I'm tired of hearing this shit. Redistribution of the wealth. What does that mean? I think any person making anything under than $100,000 a year shouldn't pay no taxes at all. I think that you all got to give do away do away with interest. Now, if somebody gets a $115,000 loan, you give them $120,000, bam, they owe back $120,000, period. Not by the time they finish the loan, they owe $300,000 on it, and then they lose it. That's illogical. I once paid $4,600 for a car. That's how much the loan was. I paid over $10,000 for that car when I was finished paying it off. That's more than the loan was. Use the logic, people. Let's not all be stupid. Do away with interest. Therefore, you kill debt. You've been tubed.